Yeah, it's going to be a great night, this uh, celebration of the release of Troubadour Heart. We've got some great guest artists coming in, uh, singers Dan Penn, legendary soul man. Uh, he's going to sing on Going Back to Alabama, and Amanda Contreras is going to sing on Pretend. Buddy Spiker is going to play Philly, and my son Parker Kaysen, who played an outstanding solo on The Call and Private Insanity, two of the more rocking uh, records on the, uh, on the album. I'm Shannon Pollard, I'm with Plowboy Records, and we have the honor of putting Troubadour Heart out to the public. Mm -hmm. This is the first time working with Buzz, and I mean, we couldn't be more thrilled. Troubadour Heart is one in particular that we're really focused in on at the moment. And obviously it's a title track, and it's just a song that really just grabs a hold of you immediately. He's got a rambling spirit, it takes him near and far. Love for the highway and a troubadour heart. What's great about this record is there's really something for everybody. Uh, you know, so many different genres, and of course I love Troubadour Heart, Midnight Sun, uh, That's What I Like About the South, uh, Going Back to Alabama. Those are all, you know, very different songs actually from each other, but they're, they come from so many different places, and you know, Buzz has such a history, and and he can pull from so many different styles. It's just absolutely amazing. First time I heard it, it just knocked me out. Real excited about tonight for Buzz. Uh, been playing on several of his records and excited for Troubadour Heart and uh, the guys. Uh, this has been uh, some long time coming. We've been working on this and, and uh, just uh, a, a treat to play with Buzz. How does my hair look? Is it all right? Don't matter if you sound good as long as your hair is on straight. Uh, I've got several favorites um, from The Call, uh, Troubadour Heart, and several of these. And, uh, uh, if you listen to them sonically, I hear I hear from Ringo Starr to some uh, Beatles to Tom Petty and even the Rolling Stones on uh, uh, something you can dance to, which we we cut kind of at the last minute one day. This is the guy here. This is a visionary. I just want to do a salute him and thank oh. thank him for what he's doing for music. Not just Nashville, but all around the world because uh, they're doing a whole bunch of different genres on the label, is that right? That's right. And uh, we just appreciate you. Well, it's nice to be appreciated, I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm going back. Dan Penn and I, we write a song about every 10 years or something. And he's from Alabama. He's from down in Vernon, Alabama. And my, my mother's from Jasper, Alabama. And uh, we had a lot of memories built up over the years, of course, of, of the old early days. Well, we go back a long way. We go back to a little, uh, little all-night cafe down in Alabama. I told him I wrote his a Bluebird Blue, the Conway Twitty song, which was on the charts at the time. And we're down in the boondocks, you know. That's where I'm from. So we talked and had a good time, and then they left. And Buzz tells me that on up the road somewhere, he, he turned to the other guys and said, that darn fool thinks he wrote as a Bluebird Blue. <laughs> Dan is so special to me, you know, he wrote Cry Like a Baby, Do Right Woman, Dark End of the Street, uh, so many, many great records. Uh, worked on this album um, over a period of two years, and because uh, we, having the Creative Workshop Studios, uh, uh, owning a studio for years, it's really nice to have the convenience of being able to go in and record when you want to, so we just did a cut here and a cut there, and, and uh, that's the way we developed it. And the song The Waiting was recorded in Loxley, Alabama with Anthony Crawford. And uh, he played almost all the instruments on it. I played a little guitar, a little harmonica. When I get to California, we did that there. We have cut several things in his little uh, tool shed down there. And uh, he gets a great sound. He's such a fantastic musician and gives a song such an earthy, rootsy feel that it's just really special. But in Sugarcane Jane, we just did an album with them here. And they're the epitome of the uh, of what the real southern rockin', groovin', swampy kind of music is. And uh, uh, so I think the album balances out quite well. We'd like for folks to, uh, from this album, we'd like for them to just feel the uh, kind of 
experience the free spirit of a traveling musician and of uh, the uh, songs that uh, that have come out of this 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 period of my life. Uh, you know, the song dictates the, the way it's sung. So I've always done sessions and sang with a lot of folks. Uh, everybody from Kenny Rogers to Chris Christopherson to John Denver to all kind of folks, and you have to adjust your vocal style to blend with them. Well, I'm letting the songs dictate how I sing the song. So there's several different vocal styles on it. But that's just the way I've always been, and I think that it gives folks a little little diversity, a little variety on there when they're listening to an album to have different grooves and different voices uh, singing the songs. And I just let the song you know, used to say, hey, hey, this is the way I want to be sung, you know. Well, thanks yeah. for being with us. We appreciate it. Great to be here. We're going to have some fun. This yeah. is going to be fun, yeah. yeah.